Graduates and audience members, please be seated. Assistant Principal for Curriculum, Lachey Serrano. Assistant Principal for Magnet Curriculum, Christine Wasselkew. Our Assistant Principal for Student Affairs, Patrick Cruz. And our Jefferson Adult and Community School Administrator, Charlene Dorsey. Continuing with our guidance team, joining us on stage, Dana Pines, Guidance Department Head, and Counselors, Dykesha Brown, Mercedes Calcinas, Farrah Ramirez, and Lane Spots. I want to thank these individuals for their support throughout these students' time at Jefferson. We are so pleased to have the support of the many elected officials who serve the Hillsborough County community. Joining us today, along with the Honorable Mr. Washington, is Florida Representative, District 62, the Honorable Susan Valdez. I would like to personally thank Representative Valdez for her support of our school community, including a generous donation of $1,000 scholarship she provided to one of our graduates this morning. I want to pause one moment at this time to recognize two distinguished members of our faculty and staff who will be retiring this year. The great and humble coach, Dan Lee, History Department, I'm going to ask these two to stand, please. 41 years of service for Mr. Lee, 18 of them at Jefferson. Jefferson. Thank you. And now I want to recognize the most important members of our staff at Jefferson, our wonderful and dedicated faculty. I will thank our faculty for all they have done for our students over these four years, and especially for making this past year meaningful. I want to especially highlight our Instructional Support Employee of the Year, Lorraine Castillo, Ida S. Baker, Diversity Educator of the Year, Maritza Hernandez, and our Teacher of the Year, Michelle Turkin. Just like you, that we have thrived these past four years and continue to thrive even during this pandemic. I would like to thank the faculty, yes, you, Mr. Cannon, and my family, as well as yours, for helping us get through all that we've gone through this year. Before I go, I want you guys to always remember that we have made it through hurricanes, a pandemic, loss of identity, loss of our loved ones, and didn't let any of that stop us from making it to where we needed and wanted to be. Remember that you have the power to make anything happen regardless of where you stand in life. Class of 2021, signing out. Thank you, Melanie, for that wonderful welcome. Class of 2021, it has truly been an honor and a privilege to serve in raising these great young men and women decked out in their graduation finest today. A los abuelos, hermanos, amigos, y toda la familia, quiero darles personalmente la bienvenida y darles las gracias por el trabajo hecho con los estudiantes que se gradúan hoy. Felicitaciones. Alumni from Jefferson's previous graduating classes have served our country during times of war and peace. At this time, I would like to thank all of the members of the class of 2021 who will go on to serve our country in the armed services. I invite our graduates who will be joining the armed services to please stand and be recognized. I, I wanna thank you for pledging to serve this great country. At this time, I would also like to ask any members of our audience who have served in mm. Thank you. I would like to take a moment to highlight just a few of the notable accomplishments of this class. We have 135 honor graduates graduating with a GPA of 4.0 or above. Mm. Students from this class have earned millions of dollars in scholarship and accumulated countless hours of community service. Of course, it was a great year for Jefferson Athletics. Football, girls basketball, flag football, and softball teams all advanced to regional playoffs with the girls basketball team winning a third straight district champion. Falkenberg. 
and sponsor, Michelle Turkin. Students, in closing, I know that your Jefferson journey took a major detour on March 13, 2020. Many of our cherished rituals like cup rallies, homecoming, Mr. and Ms. Jefferson, grad bash, and prom gave way to e-learning, contact tracing, and quarantines. While your senior year was not what you envisioned when you came to Jefferson in the fall of 2017, know that this neither dampens the level of your achievement nor lessens the pride that we feel for you. You are truly the resilient class of 2021, and I for one am confident that you will take the lessons of this year with you as you make your mark upon the world. I want to personally thank you for the resilience and leadership you have shown during this difficult time. Thank you for being Dragons. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize the salutatorian of the traditional class, Marcos Gonzalez. Marcos is the son of Miguel.